Now, Chef, you've had a brutal couple of weeks. How are you feeling? I wouldn't call it brutal. Well, you're back in Adelaide. That's pretty brutal. And you asked to come on our show, which is pretty tragic. Well, I heard great things. Yeah. <laughs> Returning home has actually been on the cards for a while. I found myself at the stage where I, um, I wanted to get back to my roots, support the local industry. And it's interesting you say that because our producers did some digging and they found a direct quote yeah, that's where right. you refer to Adelaide as a pitiful parochial cesspit of a syphilitic city of ill-bred boorish oafs who wouldn't know a cassoulet from a deep-fried donkey's dick. Damn. Well, clearly that was said in jest. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm actually loving being home, spending time with family, with my dad and my niece. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you are. Let's talk about Shanghai, because you really didn't hold back, did you? Could say you went the whole hog. I'm not proud of what I did, but I was under a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. I reached boiling point. Happens to the best of us. We yeah. all feel the stress and then punch dudes and then throw a pig in a lady's lap. For me, Ben, that's a regular Friday night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, if I could go back. Was it a farm-to-table thing you were going no, for? No, no, no. It was farm-to-table to cancel. Will you let me fucking talk? I'm trying to apologise, but you keep interrupting. Stop being rude. Yes, I went too far, but I want to put it behind me and focus on the future. And no... No, I've not been cancelled because I am actually, I'm actually opening up my very first Australian restaurant here. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm bringing Michelin star dining to the Adelaide Hills. It's very exciting. So could we please focus on that? Yeah. Our apologies, Chef. That actually is quite exciting. Um, now, did you manage to bring home the bacon or is that still in Shanghai? <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind us. We're just carrying on like pork chops. <laughs> Don't hug all the jokes, Liam. Are we boring you? <laughs> Somebody call the ambulance. Are you with Ben and Liam? It really wasn't that bad. I mean, no, nobody even really listens to popular commercial radio. I'm supposed to help my situation, not screw it harder. Why the Christ did I even listen to you? Well, I mean, I said to lay low for a while. I didn't say, go announce your comeback. I mean, how the hell are you supposed to start a restaurant now, you big noob? I mean, who the hell are you anyway? You run a shitty cake stall. When I was your age, I was working for Rubichon. Yeah, I said dish pig. You know, if there's one thing I cannot stand, it's fat girls playing their wacky zany funny card to cover up their insecurities. Oh, don't be such a big baby. Don't leave your shit with me!